We made it to Connecticut! We are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. Oh, we're leaving camp about 18 minutes behind schedule. It's 618. There was a few meltdowns. It's a nice cool morning, so this feels good to start hiking. the diameter of approximately six feet. Uh, this is the Dover Oak. So this would be it's approximately 300 years old. So this is the largest oak tree on the entire Appalachian Trail. That's crazy. Rainier, look at this. What's going on here? It's a raccoon. Oh, it's still alive. He's like sleeping. Is he sick? Look, you can see him breathing. Aww. What's hey, going on? You gotta put your straps back. Hey, Yuta. Hey, I think hey. he's dying. Mm. Hey, you okay? Hey, buddy. Alright, well. See you, dude. <laughs> Okay, we're in a special spot right here. This is a train station that is right on the Appalachian Trail. And I guess you have to stand here and you have to flag the train down uh, and it will take you to New York City. You guys wanna go? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't, but it would be fun. Hey, uh, that's not a good place to play. We gotta get off there. <laughs> Look, Appalachian Trail. I was a little afraid that Ben would wanna wait for that train, because I think it's pulling him, but we're gonna keep on keeping on. Good morning Crawfords, this is Sue. I plan to be at the Route 55 parking lot by 1230-ish with a few helpers and we will have beef empanadas, pulled pork, baked beans, watermelon, blueberries, cookies, soda, juice water, some frappuccinos, bubbles. What are bubbles? Maybe that's for you, like blowing bubbles, I don't know. Aww. And some chairs and blankets to sit on. We probably have enough food for whoever comes our way until we run out, at least 15 to 20 peeps. The more the merrier. Looking forward to seeing you and welcome to Connecticut. We are 1.8 away from lunch and we have about 40 minutes to be there. It's my turn with Rainier, so I'm gonna try to do all of that in my turn. Can I say hi? Me and Rainier are both really excited and I think everyone's really excited because they're all ahead of me. Bill's cruising up the hill really fast. Dude, that son of a is gonna take our frappuccinos. Yeah. Let's go, come on. This brand new fresh asphalt here. And we're all going across it. Oh, it's weird. It's like sticky. Thank you for the nice road. Going to Connecticut and we're leaving New York. We got to this sunny parking lot and 30 minutes early and some people just showed up. So maybe that's them. Nice to meet you. This is Sue, she brought everything for us. I started watching you guys back in March when you started and that first day on Springer Mountain when 
I don't know. It was, it was kind of touch or go whether you guys were going to have a day two. And then I saw the, the episode where you guys were in the hostel and everybody was throwing up. And, and Ben, you were kind of like, Argh. and I'm like, I don't know if they're going to make it. I don't know if they're going to make it past this. But if they can, then they got a chance. And then the episode where you guys, the episode, like it's a TV show, whatever. Um, where you guys were in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and CPS came to investigate you and I'm like, well, you know what, forget it, they got this. They're going to keep on trucking and I hope they make it to Katahdin and they have my support. This is representative of a whole group of us just wanting to, just wanting to make your day easier and, and be a blessing. There's watermelon. Oh. Oh, right here. Oh, oh. Right here. Look at this. Yes. Chocolate milk. Yeah. Dang, this is like a hidden treasure jackpot. Alright, this is just a tour of the leftovers. We had the baked beans and the pulled pork and cookies. There's still some drinks left. We hit it hard. Uh, those are the leftover empanadas that we didn't take. But it's time to go. We're trying to get out of here, otherwise we'll never make it. Bye! <laughs> After a long day of hiking, morning of hiking, you just get so motivated when there's something like that coming. And so to be there with the Crawfords and having such uh, great spirits uh, being lifted, uh, what a perfect time. That was really fun. Um, they pulled up and the, the lady comes out and she's like, welcome to Connecticut. And it was just really um, fun to hang out with them. And then some of our other hiker friends that we've met on the trail came by because we told them that there might be some food in the near future. And so it's fun experiencing that with them and just sharing some of our whatever but it wasn't ours but we just yeah i've done connecticut for about like 0.3 miles now so far i'm a fan i like it taking a break right now after a huge uphill climb we uh have done maybe five miles and i think we only have a couple left until we get to camp at night, having a snack. How far are we? You want to hear? Yeah. Point nine. Yeah. That means we're almost there, okay? We are at the campsite. Those are the sites. We don't know how to pronounce that. Someone uh, told us at lunchtime, but we just call it, she got a Coke. <laughs> she got a, she got a cherry Coke. Or she, she got to go. Look how flat these sites are. I know, we're thinking the my backpack. Right there. This is incredible. Tonight, I don't have to cook dinner because we're having leftover empanadas. A little bit. So what's called? that we packed out from the Trail Magic lunch that we received today. And I'm really excited that I don't have to cook dinner, but I don't really know what to do with myself. I've just been sitting on this log for like empanadas. I think I got like 12 of them. Cookie crumbles and nacho cheese with chips from Eden. Done this in a while. Those shiny teeth. Mm. All right, guys. Um, we're obviously in our ten after having dinner. We did our highs and lows meeting with the kids outside, and 
it's, it, it feels really cool right now for me. I feel like we're entering into a new stage. It's like the final third. I don't know if it was meeting hops or mm -hmm. uh, crossing, crossing into Connecticut the state line or what. Mm -hmm. This feels like a new chapter for us. It's like pretty high energy. This feels like a completely different part of the trip. <clears throat> Today is kind of unique because Connecticut and every state after this, the next five states, none of us have ever been in before in our entire lives. Yeah. So it's all completely new, which is exciting. It feels like we're kind of exploring. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had this other really interesting conversation with Bill tonight around dinner where we were just like talking about the idea of finishing the hike together and um, what that would look like and he was expressing some of his thoughts about that which were really cool to hear and we were sharing that our family has really benefited from being around him and one of the things we really appreciate about him is you know I really feel like he cares for our kids and sometimes out here with some of the like um, I don't know publicity or fame that's come along with us on the trail sometimes I feel like people are just like using us because I don't know it makes them feel good to like get a picture with us or something and and that's fine like that's cool but I feel like that's not just what we want around our family the whole time like we want people that actually care about us and we feel that way <clears throat> so we're gonna be at least trying that out and uh you know it feels like we're like dating someone it's like a, D I, a dtr where you're like do you want to go steady or <laughs> you know i feel more for him than i mean he's a big boy and can make his own decision but i'm like okay you go from being by yourself to all of a sudden you have eight people around you for us adding one other person it does impact it but not as much yeah, i think it's a bigger <laughs> shift in gears for yeah him. okay uh tomorrow we are not going to be filming because we did an extra episode this week with father's day already so we're taking tomorrow off it has nothing to do with the fact that it's hike naked day like that'd be some bomb ass footage. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the next time you'll see us is Friday, so don't be alarmed if you miss a day on in an episode. It's not being filmed. We'll see you guys out on the trail on Friday.